What is up guys? It is Coasters and Things here today, and I'm presenting my top 10 wooden roller coasters. Now, I haven't ridden as many woodies, but I've still ridden some pretty decent ones, so let's get started. I'm going to start off with an unpopular opinion. Number 10 is Thunder Run at Kentucky Kingdom. This is the only Den Corporation woody I've ridden, and it probably will be the only one I end up riding before they all close. But that being said, it was surprisingly fun. Way more fun than Hurler at Carowinds. I wouldn't be surprised if Kentucky Flyer passes this coaster up, though. Number 9 is the Great American Scream Machine at Six Flags Over Georgia. This is my favorite PTC Woody that I have ridden. It's got an out-and-back layout and really strong airtime. And this photo is kind of outdated. It runs with Georgia Cyclone's old trains now, and it runs really well with them, too. Number 8 is The Legend, one of three wooden coasters at Holiday World to make this list, and one of four CCIs to appear on this list. This coaster uses the terrain very well, and it retains its speed throughout most of the ride. This is the weakest Woody at Holiday World, in my opinion, but it's still really fun. At number 7 is an odd one. It's Boardwalk Bullet at Kema Boardwalk in Texas. This is the only credit I have from Texas. I rode this coaster a, a couple of years ago when I, my family visited Houston. We had an evening to kill, so we went to the boardwalk, and I rode this awesome gravity group. This coaster also has the most crossovers on any wooden coaster in the world. 42. At number 6, we have The Raven. This is definitely better than Legend, in my opinion. It feels smoother, and it feels like you get more airtime. Plus, you go out past a lake. It's just an all-around fun wooden coaster. Number five is a truly underrated one. It's Rampage at Alabama Adventure. My expectations for this Woody weren't very high, just because of it having been set abandoned for several years, and I was blown away by how much fun it is. This currently is my second favorite CCI. Number four is Thunderhead at Dollywood, the only GCI coaster that I have ridden. However, that'll change later this year when I go to Beach Bend and Busch Gardens Williamsburg. This coaster is great. The acute banking on the turns are so good, and this was my first major roller coaster I ever rode, back when this and Tennessee Tornado were the only two main coasters at the park. This coaster holds a special place in my heart. Number three is my favorite CCI, Boulder Dash. This was one of the highlight coasters that I rode last year. It is one of the best terrain coasters out there. It was also my number one woody for a couple of months. However, that didn't last long because shortly after I rode these next two coasters. At number two, we have The Voyage. Where do I even start? The airtime is insane. It is ridiculously long, and what made this coaster for me was a back row night ride. That left me absolutely speechless. This was my number one I had ridden, period, for about six months. And number one is Lightning Rod. Let me tell you, it took me multiple visits to get on this, but when I finally rode it, it was in a state of shock after I got off. The airtime on the quad down is so incredible that if you sit in the front row like I recently did, it hurts your thighs. Lightning Rod at Dollywood is my favorite wooden coaster. Tell me what your favorite woodies are. I'll be riding more wooden roller coasters this year, so we'll see how much my list changes. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and this is Coasters and Things, signing out.